Hello. Hey guys, welcome back to Louder Off Road. I know things have been a little scarce lately. A mm -hmm. uh, couple things we've been waiting on our fin trailer. It got here. See? There's stuff down here too that There's, you guys can yeah, see. We'll give you guys a look. Got stuff down here, new hoodies. Um, work has been crazy. Yeah. We've had a couple back to back storms, which somehow have led to us still not having enough snow to really ride. It's all blowing. The yeah. Wind. Saskatchewan problems. It snows and then the wind kicks up and then it's gone. Yeah. So videos might be a little slow um, until we get enough snow, I guess. And then I don't know if you guys would be interesting maybe in, maybe in a fishing series. Um, I go fishing on the weekends. So if you want a video of that, comment below and let us know. And then I think we're going to start the sled still in the garage. I'll show you guys too. It's still in here. It needs some TLC, so I think in the upcoming week or so, I think we're going to do a project out at the shop. Yeah. We're going to get the quads, which are still in my trailer. That's how terrible this season's been so far. We'll get those out, and then we're going to go through some servicing on the Viper, because it's not as easy as every other sled. Yeah. Uh, we got to do chain case oils, which is massive project. And then Aaron's sled needs shocks, yeah. but Wait. we're still trying to find them. Well, I reached out to Rapid Revolutions, Matt, he's amazing. He, uh, of course I reached out on a Friday, so I didn't get a response right away, but Monday I'm sure I will. So yeah, uh, I know you guys have been waiting a while for a video and we've been trying to get something out, but I've been doing 16, 18 hour pushes in the loader. Aaron's been working. Shift work. Just life. Yeah. But we've got time now. Well, and in Saskatchewan here, like I know people say, oh, go quadding in the snow and stuff. In Saskatchewan, most of our trails are closed for winter, so you can get a big fine going on the trails during winter with the uh, quads. Big ticket. Even though there's no snow, the game warden will still not be happy if you're out there on a quad. Yeah, but... Wait and see. But we got our fin trail, so that's exciting. I hope we get to use yeah. it. We're at gonna least we're once. gonna go through what we changed up this year, and what we didn't change up this year, and some of their new product and what we're gonna try this year. Yeah. I want to try something a little different with the suit I got. We'll go through that. We'll see how that goes. Um, you want to start? <laughs> yeah. I gotta go get the camera. Okay. Unless you want to do it from there. You might as well if you. Oh here. You go first. You're over there. Oh, okay. You can tell we haven't done a video for a long time. We're scrambled. Um, so this last year, I was wearing the woman's fin trail onesie. Um, I was having issues with it a little bit. It it's really long, and I'm not tall. I'm five foot three, five foot four on a good day. Um, so they sent me this new one. It's the SQ model. So it's for shorter girls with bigger hips. Um, so it's wider in the hips and it's shorter in the torso, um, but I'm still kind of having a little issue. It's bulky, but where Fin Trail is amazing, they're working with us or me to get sizing figured out and their response time has been amazing and we're figuring out issues. So yeah. And then I'm still running my non-insulated one. This is the one I've had the last two seasons. This is my go-to riding, but what I've gone to this year to try is the uh, Powerland series, which is the two-piece. So this is pants. Oh, look at that. Aaron's got it all Velcro. <laughs> and bibs. That's pants and bibs separate. And I kind of want to try something a little different. You know, their motto is always waterproof and durable. Well, I work outside all winter long, and I'm in and out of equipment. I'm shoveling snow. You name it, I'm doing it. I want to give this a try, not only for riding, but just everyday outside cold weather use. I've already got a few hours in it and mm -hmm. it is amazing. It's thin, but it is ridiculously warm. And I've been wearing just the fin trail jersey underneath it. No underlayers, no hoodies, and it is awesome. Yeah. And if you are cold, like run on the cold side, they do have an insulated onesie that can go under this. And then they also have the, what is it? The sweat? The under, the skin tight under layer. Yeah. Which, which is helps amazing. Wick some moisture. And normally when I run my uninsulated, all I run is that skin layer and then a light Jersey and this, and I'm 
perfect. Yeah. And I don't run the onesie under layer because these are really, really warm, which I love. Um, if you're not interested in the sledding gear and stuff, they also have casual wear. So Drake's wearing one yeah, of Yeah, I got hoodies. just the standard cotton hoodie. Yeah. Nothing special. And then one comes with a snowmobile and the other one comes with a quad. And then they also have a fishing hoodie. I'm obsessed with their casual wear. They're so comfy and warm. On my lazy days, I wear these. And then they also sent us some neoprene socks for riding. Um, Not just for riding. I'm wearing them right now. Oh, of course he is. I've been wearing them in my work boots at work. They're just, they're phenomenal. Yeah. They're and awesome. They come about knee height. So your legs don't get cold either. Um, and they're, the material they have isn't super tight. Like sometimes you get riding socks where the material's not stretchy enough and then your feet actually get yeah. cold because they're too tight. These are really loose fitting and they're waterproof as well. Yeah, they also have jerseys, um, different colors online. Uh, we mostly use these for quadding. Well, I, I just, like I showed you, I just casual. wear mine all he the time. He wears them casual. In the house, wear. at work. I don't know. They're just super comfy. And then Drake also got a new pair of gloves. Um, they're really light. I don't know if you can see. Focus. Um, you haven't worn the, these brands I yet, haven't though. worn, I haven't had Fintrail gloves yet, so I'm really yeah. excited. Everyone I've ridden with <laughs> praises them. But I have a set. They're amazing. Again, we've been working with the sizing and they've been really good. And finally, because I have bare paws. <laughs> so finding gloves is really, really challenging, especially with the fin trail and the US, the UK sizing and stuff. I need like a way bigger than anyone overseas has because they're like bare mitts. But we got them now. And Extra larges. The most exciting thing I'm excited about to try this year is they sent us new fin trail boots. This is perfect because I was almost looking for new snow boots. I've had mine for what, six, seven years. And your feet are always cold. And my feet are always cold. I do like them, but time for an upgrade. So I'm really excited about these. The These are a, what do you want to call them? I don't know how to. I've always just called them a modular boot. I don't really know the, the real term. Yeah, I can't get it out. But they have a liner that comes out of them. I need an adult. You need an adult? <laughs> I can't. Just grab not this this enough. tab and the heel. Yeah, they're not broken in yet, so they're really stiff. They're very stiff. So they're like a snowboard boot. So you're Almost. not gonna break your ankle on them. They come with what, like a little moccasin? Yeah, they're thing. almost like an insulated slipper, and then this is more of yeah. like the actual shell yes. robustness of the boot. So I, what I think I'm gonna do is put this on first, slide it into my boot, and then do up my laces. The only thing is Drake had to tie my laces because they're so stiff. I have to maybe walk around the house in them. Um, I'm not, yeah. I can give you guys a tip on the, not just the fin trail boots, but if you get a riding boot this style, kind of like the snowboard boot, as soon as you get it out of the box, I've had this style before with the laces, tie them up as tight as you possibly can without the boot in it, and then leave them in your living room and your kitchen for a few days where it's warm, and then it'll help loosen up this top bit. Because when Erin first pulled hers out and tried to lace them up, they were like hockey skates. They were wild. They are a tough boot, and they're light. They are very light, um, but they are massive compared to my other ones, but I'm excited to I do I think you're going to have the warmth. Yeah, the warmth is the biggest. I, if you didn't know this, I'm always cold, and for winter, I run almost heated gear underneath. Like, my feet are always cold, so I have heated socks for, for, ugh, for sledding. I can't talk today. Um, for sledding. So I'm excited to hopefully retire my heated socks and these will keep me warm. So. Yeah. And then they sent us some other nice stuff. We got some toques, mm -hmm. which I don't know why Fintrail toques just fit so much better. I, yeah. I don't know. They sent us last year, we've got black toques and I think you guys have they're like insulated. A, a teal. They're insulated and they're the rolled up style. So like if you're cold, you can almost roll them all the way down your neck. It's awesome. So nice. They're my go-to when we go up to the mountains because it gets windy at the top oh, of the mountain. 
They also sent us, I forgot it upstairs, and I'm gonna butcher this word, uh, the babaclavas. <laughs> they sent us balaclavas. balaclavas. Aaron can't say the word. Sent us insulated balaclavas for under our helmets. And that is a big go-to because I've never had an insulated balaclava. I always wear a balaclava and then a neck warmer and then it ends up too many pieces. Now there's just one, way better. Yeah, and it goes down. And it goes down quite low. So you unzip your jacket, you tuck it in, and then you're good to go. Yeah, but otherwise it's been slow winter. Um, it's been slow but busy. Yeah. The season is slow, but the work is, it's been just crazy. So but you probably won't see a couple videos for. We're gonna try. We're gonna try. Things are but... gonna slow down. We're gonna try and get some stuff into the shop. Um, suspect needs some TLC. Stacy needs a lot of TLC. Uh, she got road hard and put away wet last year. Your sled, if people don't uh, know. Yes. <laughs> if you're new, Suspect is my Grizzly, and Stacy is my Viper, which and, is my sled. And then my quad is Bush Bash Betty, and then my sled is Penelope the Polaris. Yeah, which also needs TLC. Yeah, but it's hard because with not riding, it's like I don't want to put the work in my sled, because if we're not going to go out, I feel like... That yeah. money can be spent somewhere else. <laughs> but as you guys know that you ride, if you put it off, put it off, the next thing you know, you get a dump of snow and some free time and you want to go ride and now it's broken in the garage. So yeah. We were talking about a trip here in February, but it all depends on the snow conditions. We were talking about Valmont or Fernie with some friends, but again, it all comes down to the snow conditions. And last I heard, the snow conditions aren't that great. So Yeah, out west is very up and down. They get snow and then it's warm and rainy. So even our like when we went on our Wyoming trip, it like this year at that lodge, they yeah. only have what less than three feet of snow, which is rare for them. But they don't get the wind. Yeah, that's nice too. But again, it yeah. So this is our gear this year. If you have any questions, reach out. Um, reach out to Fin Trail too. They're great at answering. Um, we'll put in the description, we got a code. If you guys are looking for any of this gear, code in a link down in the comments and or the description. Either or, I'll put them in both. Yeah. Uh, find what you're looking for and if you got questions on Fin Trail or just us in general, what's going on, units, feel free to send them, comment, mm -hmm. Instagram, Facebook. Aaron's got TikTok ideas coming out the wazoo. So we're doing that after. <laughs> I think she's got. Some, I think she's got some cabin fever. I do sitting in the house, which we've been a little behind too. The weather last week was minus forty-eight before the wind chill. We saw minus fifty-nine with the winds, and I think eighty percent of the vehicles in this town did not start. Yeah, it was, it was rough. Cold. And we're supposed to get snow this week, but again, with Saskatchewan wind, it'll all... Yeah, and then plus four next week. Yeah, plus four. So. So, maybe we'll just do in the life of louder off-road instead. Yeah, maybe I'll just take you guys for a day at work. <laughs> Who knows? We'll figure that out. But anyways, thanks for supporting us. Um, yeah. Like, comment, subscribe, share, and we'll see you guys later.